Okay then, welcome back to NQIS, Steve. Um, I've been looking forward to doing these next set of uh, instruction hack videos, so to speak. Um, it's the Cyclops quantum goggles. I've pulled them apart. I've pulled out the receiver. Um, I've got the receiver on the bench and I've soldered a programming header into it. Uh, the programming header is a six pin header. I just used some um, pins that were lying around off a, an old flight controller. Uh, from there I've also done a quick little uh, put together of a, 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 uh, excuse me, a USB AVR programmer from a 10 pin programmer down to a 6 pin programmer so that we can plug it into the receiver and actually flash across the new firmware that's needed. Um, so let's get straight to it. I've got to pull apart. I've done the vid, so we'll cut over to it. As soon as we've seen the videos, we'll do a quick roundup and I'll tell you about the next vid we're going to make. Okay, let's get stuck in. Okay, so all of those, oh, oh, that came out really easy. I'll just maybe get a little bit of light into here. Okay, so that there's the card that we've got to now pull out of the goggle. It might be best if we take those plugs off first. Quite firmly attached. Okay, so there's the transmitter card out of the frame. On the top of that caddy is the plastic caddy that slides in and holds it. On the top of that caddy you've got a screw, okay, so this screw here is the one we're going to have to remove. So as you can see that was quite a long screw and held that on to that board. Now we should be able to have a good look at the back of the board. Okay, so the part of this that we're interested in today is this part here. It's your six pins that you can see from the back of the board. They're going to be uh, ABR programming pins. And let's just turn that over. And then this one here is our pin one. Let's put in our jumpers into here. You want to start with a nice clean tip on your solder line. Okay, so now that we've got those pins on there, okay, so there's our programming pins soldered in. Okay, so with a meter we just want to check our programming um, pins that we've put in, make sure they're going in the right spot. 
The back of our can is ground, which is that first pin. Back of the can is ground. That should be the bottom pin on our programmer. It is. Okay, so as I count along here, I'm pretty sure it's our fifth pin. One, two, three, four, five. Excuse me because I'm out of glasses. So it should be... Is that the one I'm looking for? 3.3. I'm just trying to do this backwards in the camera. Yep, that one there. Okay, so the one beside it is RSI, but that's our third volt. Fifth pin along. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so definitely nothing between there and there. All right. But we should have it on our top of our programming pin. And we do. Alright, so the top programming pin is voltage. So there's our voltage. Nothing down here on what should be ground to voltage, 3.5 volt. Let's go to the can. Ground. So I'm saying that that set of pins is going to be right for us to do. Okay. Guys, final little bit of uh, paranoia here. What we're going to do is we're just going to check on here. I know that pin 9, because of our drawings, coming out of my USB ASP programmer, pin 9 is going to be my MISO, M-I-S-O. And I know that on my... Um, plug that I just made up, that pin 1 is our MISO, and pin 1, there, okay, so pin 1 on my programmer is going to pin 9, coming out of my USB programming card, alright, so on my pin that I've made up, I've proved that I've got my cards the right way around, so we could do even one more test there, just to double check with the voltage. Now we know that the voltage is coming out of pin 2. The way I've got my little card here set up, I can't get to pin 2 easily on the servo. But we can go to, remember, I told you that it was the fifth pin along. So if we just count to the fifth pin along, 1, 2, 3... Four, five, because we turn over our card and our opposite card to that number one is number two. Can I do this with my fingers? So number two, there. All right. So on the opposite side, I've got voltage coming out of my USB going to voltage 3.3 volt on my receiving card out of the Cyclops. Okay. Okay, here is the uh, pinout and the reciprocal female side of the lead for my USB programmer. And there is the 6 pin as opposed to the 10 pin. Okay, that little uh, short video, sorry it took about 7 minutes. Uh, that's part 1, that'll be the end of part 1. Uh, in part 2 we'll, we'll show how we actually flash this, uh, the new hex across to the receiver using the... Um, six pin lead we made up for our USB ASB programmer. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That's the next view. It'll be about the same sort of length. We'll put it all together. We'll fire her up and we'll test it and we'll see how we went. Okay, good stuff. See you on the next one. If you like this lot of videos, please subscribe. Um, if you like the actual video itself, press like for me. Okay, see you soon.